Welcome to Unlimited Grace Academic Hub. In this playlist, I will explain the structure of an atom and the two unique numbers significant to an atom that is atomic number and mass number. I will explain a brief introduction to anions and cations. Also, I will explain the effect of electrons on the chemical behavior of an element. Lastly, I will look at isotopes and describe how to estimate the atomic mass of isotopes using their percentage of abundance. But in this video, I will explain the structure of an atom. What is an atom? Let us look at these two figures. If the two spoon contains a little quantity of tea inside the mug, since the quantity of tea inside the two spoon has the same ingredient as the tea inside the mug, you will agree with me that there will be no difference between the taste of tea inside the mug and the two spoon. For illustrative purposes, the tea inside the mug can be regarded as element and the tea inside the two spoon can be labeled as an atom. Hence, an atom is a smaller particle of an element that still retains the property of an element. As you can see in this illustration, the little quantity of tea inside the teaspoon still has the taste which can be regarded as the property as the tea inside the mug. It means that an atom of sodium we have the same properties as a sodium element. Because of the smaller size of atom, it can be seen using what is called electron microscope. So electron microscope provides magnification of an atom so that the whole structure and the particles within it can be identified. There are three subparticles of an atom. They are electrons, protons and neutrons. On the slide on the right hand side is an atomic structure of an atom. The nucleus is the central part of an atom. It has two subparticles, that is protons and neutrons. Around the nucleus, as you can see, there are ring-like structure called electronic shells. These two, they are electronic shells. On the electronic shells, there are electrons. In summary, atomic structure shows three subparticles of an atom and their locations. Protons and neutrons can be found inside the nucleus. Electrons can be found outside the nucleus or on the electronic shell of an atomic structure. This slide shows the significant differences between the three subparticles of an atom. In terms of unit charge, the electron is negative, the proton is positive, and the neutron is neutral, that is, it is neither positive nor negative. In terms of charge, an electron is minus 1.602 times 10 to the power minus 19. A proton is an opposite charge to electron, that is, it's going to be plus 1.602 times 10 to the power minus 19. The neutron is neither positive nor negative, that is, it is neutral. In terms of location, electrons can be found outside the nucleus as shown in the last slide and as you can see here, both protons and neutrons can be found inside the nucleus of an atom. The actual mass of the electron is 9.1 times 10 to the power minus 28. Proton is 1.673 times 10 to the power minus 24. And neutron is 1.675 times 10 to the power minus 24. Using the actual mass of electron to divide that of proton and neutron, we will have a what is called a relative mass. The result of division shows that electron is 1, proton is 1837, and neutron is 1839. The result of the division shows that the electron is lighter 
than proton and neutron. And neutron and proton are heavier than electron. That is, they are up to 1900 times that of electron. As earlier explained, protons are positively charged and electrons are negatively charged because both subparticles have opposite charges. There is a force of attraction between the electrons and protons. The reason is that the positive charges of protons attract the negative charges of electrons. Hence, the attractive force keeps electrons on the electronic shells to revolve around the nucleus. The electrons on the electronic shells, with the help of electrostatic force, revolve around the atomic structure and occupy a volume known as electron cloud. Let us look at charge neutrality. Charge neutrality means no net difference between positive and negative charges when comparing the two charges. As earlier stated, protons are positive charges and electrons are negative charges. Hence, an atom is electrically neutral, that is, the number of proton charged particles is the same as the number of negative charged particles, that is, electrons. Therefore, when the numbers are equal with no net difference, an atom can be regarded as electrically neutral. So the simple definition is that an atom is electrically neutral because the number of protons equals the number of electrons. For instance, if you have 10 protons which are positive charges and then you have negative 10 which are electrons. So the numbers are the same and the charges are the same. There is no net difference. So we can regard such an atom to be electrically neutral. For example, this structure belongs to helium. Outside the nucleus, there are two electronic shells as we can see. The negative charges are electrons located on the electronic shells. On the other hand, there are three positive charges inside the nucleus, which means this structure has three protons. Likewise, there are four zero particles inside the nucleus, which you can see, one, two, three, four, which indicates that there are four neutrons because the particles, they are neither positive nor negative. That is, they are neutral. Since the number of positive charges inside the nucleus is the same as the negative charges outside the nucleus, this atom can be regarded as electrically neutral. So that completes the first topic, which is structure of an atom. In the next video, I will discuss atomic number, mass number, and the notation of an atom. See you in the next video. Bye for now.